Oh, hello there. Just doing a little light reading. I'm Chris and I, I'm here at the Blue Mountain Humane Society. First of all, just playing with some cats, but second of all, thinking a little bit about chemistry. And today we're here to talk to you about syn hydroxylation of alkanes. Now, before we start, we should make it clear that you have a couple options. One is potassium permanganate. The other is osmium tetroxide. Now we're going to go into the mechanisms behind each. Hi, I'm John, and this is Bubbles, and we're going to explain to you hydroxylation with the use of permanganate. For our example, we'll use a cyclopentene. Oh, where are you going, Bubbles? We're going to use a cyclopentene, but any type of alkene can be used. First, the permanganate approaches <laughs> the job holes. The permanganate approaches the cyclopentene from the same side. Remember, this is a syn addition. The oxygen bonds to the two carbons in the double bond using this arrow pushing mechanism. Second is the transition state. Manganate ester is formed um, with the electrons that were once in the double bond now creating a bond between the oxygen. We'll, we will now add water, which will give us the final product of the cis glycol. Hi, my name is Reed Shaw, and this is Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Explain how to do osmium tetroxide hydroxylation. First, as you can see, we took a generic alkene and added some osmic acid. You can tell how it reacts by the arrow pushing mechanism as described. Next, we get an osmate ester. It attacks the double bonds of the carbons and forms a new bond with the oxygens. Then, we can either use a hydro hydrogen peroxide, or an amine, which will give us a glycol. This glycol is then hydrolyzed with new oxygens, and the osmium tetroxide is regenerated so it can react with other alkenes. Isn't that right, Mr. Tim? Easy work. So, we've gone over a couple different options. You could use potassium permanganate or osmium tetroxide. Potassium permanganate is least expensive. However, osmium tetroxide provides for better yield. So which one do you choose? Maybe you just can't. <laughs>